Hello, people of New World. It's me, Lamani, and welcome back to the channel. And today, I'm sure you're enjoying the absolute high octane content of the new event. If you aren't, head over to Krasis. He's somewhere on the map in a couple different zones. Head over there, and let me tell you, it is a joy ride. It's just like killing Turculon or our Winter Warrior. So, pretty much great new content. Now, I for one was not awake at 3 a.m. to make any sort of content telling you what these eight named drops are, but what I will tell you is I have a nice rested rejuvenated brain and can tell you that the loot table is actually massive and not just these eight drops. In case you may not have seen a video, here are the eight drops. Some of them are okay for PvP, okay for PvE, mainly two perk, but you still do have eight nice legendary drop options that could be good as a fresh character or just maybe as a two perk option for a different build. Additionally, we have a chance to get a massive, super powerful craft mod, as you can see here, but then we do get some additional things like Obsidian Gypsum, Umbral Shards, the actual named items each day, and then again, chances for some of those craft mods. Now, where people are kind of missing what you can be doing with this event, is you do get these armor or weapon containers. You get some things in there, they're BOE, they're not that great. But there is a slim chance that you do get something else. As you can see here on the event announcement, there is a 10% drop chance for a special named item from Brimstone Sands or Greater Eternum. What does that actually mean? This means we have an absolute endless list of BOE and BOP, drops that could be actually coming from this event. As you can see here, here are some examples of two drops that I got today on two of my characters. The prize winning rifle, not the greatest perks, but it is a BOE drop that can drop from pretty much anything in level 60 content. So this would mean that you could also get some of those pesky brimstone sands drops that you might not have been able to acquire as long as it says it is from level 60 plus content. Great way to check this is simply just the requirements on something like NWDB. It'll say content level 60 plus. This would lead me to believe then that you could get any of these drops, even though it might be a lower percent chance from these events. It's a 10% drop chance, but actually which item are you going to get? It's who knows, but that is the true loot table. So if you really want to farm it out and try and get some of these drops, go ahead. Again, some of them are BOE, so it could be worth it. Let's all be honest. We were hoping for something a little bit better, a little bit deeper with this event, but if you haven't checked the New World channel, there is a new announcement. There's a roadmap. There's all kinds of exciting stuff. Check the channel for some new videos coming very soon. The event is here. Do it once a day. But otherwise, I would highly suggest, you know, dabbling in some other things like perhaps learning how to create some thumbnails or working on your career aspirations as a artist. In all, keep playing New World. Exciting things are on the horizon. But here's a real overview of how the event drops are going to be looking. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. And thank you to every single one of you beautiful people for being you. I appreciate it. Keep your eyes open. If you need anything, send me a DM.